Talk a little bit about how West Liberty Foods has been able to work around or solve some of the labor challenges that have hit it. You guys have a very diverse set of plants. You've got one in a city, you've got a few in, uh, in really small towns, yep. and one in a little bit bigger small town. So how have you kind of weathered that uh, storm a little bit? Well, just to, to your point, you know, it's, it's been a, what's been the most interesting to me about the, the labor situation or the, uh, the, the labor shortage is it's, it's not exclusive to one small town, big town, little town, diverse town, not diverse town. It's, it's been everywhere. It's been, it's been company wide. We've, we've experienced it at, at all of our locations, but you know, what are we doing about it? I mean, the, the first thing we have to make sure we do is take care of our team members when they do come join us because we are able to hire folks. Um, but we need to make sure once we hire them, they don't leave because they're uncomfortable, they're not treated right, um, uh, they don't feel like they have a, a, a sense of um, a purpose, you know, what they're supposed to be doing. Um, so we've been really working with our supervisors now. It's been a policy of ours and it's been a mission of ours to, to be one of the best places to work, but all of us can always improve. So one thing we've done is spend a lot of time with supervisors, making sure new team members are taken very well care of we've actually implemented a position we call transitional coaches which helps those team members that are within their first 90 days uh, helps them feel comfortable they show them where the restrooms are they show them where the break room is um, how to find HR if they have some uh, a question about their paycheck things like that so um, really focused on our first 90 day team members and then also our team members that have been with us for a long time we've done that uh, we've also, you know, at, at the end of the day, wages do matter, and so we've always we're continually uh, monitoring our wage rates compared to our local competitors, and and we want to make sure at the very least we're competitive with them, if not better. In most cases, we also look at our benefits packages, making sure that uh, that they're they're competitive as well, um, and then overall, just turning over at any rock we can to look for those folks that may be under uh, employed um, in different areas, um, taking advantage of part-time work, uh, wor workers, you know, teachers during the summer, uh, school kids during, or school or college age folks during the, the, uh, the summer, things like that. And then overall, just boots on the ground, recruiting, trying to get people to come join our, uh, our team. What's, what's the message you're giving out there about working at a West Liberty Foods plant? Uh, you know, I know many, many years ago, the Provisioner and West Liberty did a few things around some of the HR initiatives you were doing maybe a decade ago or so. I don't remember exactly. It might have even been longer than that. Um, so you've always had a really good HR people culture approach. What, what is kind of the message that you're taking out to these people who don't know West Liberty Foods? Sure. We talk a lot about our, our farmer-owned heritage. We talk a, a, a lot about that family does matter to us. We're a family-oriented business. And we talk, I, what I personally talk a lot about is the opportunities for advancement within West Liberty Foods. We're not an enormous company. We're a mid-sized company that, that does, we have, you know, you come in, you work hard, um, uh, you, you ask a lot of questions. You come up with some great ideas. You have the opportunity to to advance and 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 uh, grow with our company. So that's been one thing we talk a lot about. But at the end of the day, we have great benefits. We believe we have uh, we have a good workforce that does have that. We have a culture when you come into our facilities where we do want to help you. We do want you to get better and do uh, be able to do your job safely, effectively. Um, just have a, a a sense of satisfaction when you leave at the end of the day.